six, five, four, three. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ward Radio live stream. We apologize for the delay there. We unfortunately started our live stream out on the mobile phone and had a little bit of difficulty switching to our desktop device. So we apologize for the 10-minute delay there. Thank you for being patient with us. I see Ice Money has already hooked us up with a super chat. We're going to give him some credit or her some credit. I don't know, Ice Money. Maybe it's a female rapper in Detroit. You don't know. It's yeah, that's, a, that's a cool name. Ice Money, please give us more money and clarify. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, today is totally awesome. We've got a great show uh, ready for you guys. In fact, Jonah Barnes uh, was making fun of me here recently about my intro. So he's going to give the intro to this show. Jonah Barnes, why don't you show us how it is done, my man? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ward Radio live stream. I'm your host, Jonah Barnes, and I'm joined in the studio by Brittany the Shadow, as well as Ed, Ed somewhere. Ed you can't gun. see him. He's off call? camera. He's guarding Ed the door. The and Cardin Ellis joining us via the interwebs. Tonight, we're going to have a great show. We're talking about some updates. <laughs> updates you, on the end. Qua oh, you Quaku forgot somebody. Now? Yeah, you forgot somebody. Yeah, Quaku's oh, here, and too. Quaku, okay. Quaku L is joining us in the studio. Just flew in on his private jet from Malibu. You see how I in shamed him into changing his backdrop? <laughs> <laughs> look, hey, look, these books, these books are real. These books are real. Watch this. I can even I can even read from this one. Ready? Rough stone says, rolling. Is that rough stone rolling? I pegged it. I pegged it. it. It says, and Bella tore open Edward's shirt and his chest glimmered in the sun like marble. Oh, I love those books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. And this I, is, I'm a I'm a big. Wait, this Twilight is Twilight. Guy. What the? Twi I'm twi First of all, Twilight's phenomenal. <laughs> Second, all the movies are phenomenal, and. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a I'm a big Twilight guy. We need to you team for, team Edward or oh, team Jacob. My backlight's not okay, on. cool. Yeah, oh yeah, you got to get that, get that taken care of. Your backlight, man. We got to make sure that you look good. You know, that you've got your uh, your 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 rim light making, giving you the halo of flex. So you glisten. So anyway, we've interrupted Jonah on his uh, intro. Finish your intro so we can get down to the brass tacks where the rubber yes, meets the road. Yes, we are here. Yes, tonight on the Ward Radio live stream, we are going to determine who is Team Edward and who is Team Jacob. The most pressing question in the church today, we're going to start with you, Brittany the Shadow. Is it Team Edward or Team Jacob? You can't be on the fence on this one, Brittany. Hit us. There's only one team, and it's Team Edward. Wow, oh. wow. Straight from mm -hmm. Brittany the Shadow. Bold, bold. Quaku, your input. It's got to be Edward. Jacob's, a, Jacob's kind of a creep. Imprinting. Hey, whoa, on, whoa, whoa. there's no embellishments here. Just the vote. All right. Just the vote. We don't want to offend people before the votes are in. Cardin Ellis. Is that your name? What's your name again? Yeah. Cardone. Cardone. That sounds made up. Yeah. Uh, team Jacob or team. I used Edward? to be team Jacob until Edward became Batman. And then I was like, you know, what? that's pretty dang cool. So now I think I'm team Edward because he's Batman. And also as a guy who doesn't like superheroes. That Robert Pattinson Batman movie was actually phenomenal. I haven't seen. I that. heard that was amazing. It was great. I don't like super. I tried to watch that awful uh, 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 Avengers, and and with the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Black Panthers yeah. and the the Bionicles fighting each other, in, in the in like the Sahara <laughs> Desert. It was horrible. It was nine plots going on, and 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 and, and Benedict uh, 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 Crample's Crunch is he's playing a wizard. <laughs> horrible, but I'll tell you. The Batman with Robert Pattinson. That was a good movie. Mm. All right. Okay, cool. So anyway, we... Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah? Jo Jonah. Jonah, yeah. What team are yes. you on? Uh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna buck the trend here. I'm Team Jacob. Oh. I'm really? I'm Team Jacob. Edward's a, Edward's a beta. Edward's oh. a beta. Oh. We have been sitting here as a family <laughs> trying to That's funny. Out That's what funny. He's a shaven, glistening beta, for, and well, I'm for, all for, about for, the... Pause, 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 yeah, pause. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You're going to say Edward's a beta. The first yeah. movie... He saves Bella. All the vampires are coming after him, and he's fighting them all. And do you remember that line? The hardest line of the early 2000s of any movie. When they've got the vampire, and he pins Jake uh, Ed, uh, uh, Edward to the wall, and he's like, you're not stronger than me. And he goes, I'm strong enough to kill you. And he throws him off, and everyone in the theater goes, starts clapping. B.A. A beta doesn't fight that <laughs> way. You're going to tell me, have you ever ran headfirst into the Volturi? Who can rip your head off in a second and one? You're gonna tell me that's beta behavior? <laughs> to what, 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 no. Did we move to Star you, Trek? You have now? fought a wolf. Have you fought a wolf <laughs> hand to hand, Jonah? 
<laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, dude. That is actually really funny. No, but really Joseph funny. Smith has. Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith has. That's true. That's Joseph Smith fought all the werewolves. Okay, yeah. cool. So um, do you have anything you want to talk about specifically today before we move on to our regularly scheduled, uh, reg- regularly scheduled subjects, my friend? Well, we have a lot that we could talk about. There's there's tons that we can choose from, but I I'm not going to dictate the uh, topic. We do have a mean meme review that we can uh, use as a palate cleanser at the end. Perhaps we've gotten it from our Discord. We've gathered um, jokes and memes from the Discord. Some of them are fantastic. So we might need to hit that. Okay. Well, you know uh, what? Why later. don't Why don't we just start out? Actually, why don't we just start out with a bunch of these memes? Oh, can because, I say a super chat first? Uh, yes. Yeah. Keep us at the chats. Catch us up on the on on the super chat. Darren Brower says, "I'd be Team Quaku El Guapo if he'd renounce his disdain of Arizona." <laughs> oh, Quaku <laughs> El Guapo, huh? Sorry, can't do it. Can't do it. Oh my gosh, you break my heart, Quaku. You break my Have heart. Have you been to Scottsdale Fashion Mall? Fashion Place Mall in Scottsdale. I've it's never true. met meaner people. You know, you, and look, I get that in Third Nephi. Third Nephi is not supposed to be like a wish, but you know, you go to Arizona and you're like, <laughs> man, this if this place sunk underwater. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that's brutal. If Gilbert and Mesa okay. just became Bikini Bottom. The world might be better. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Well, we've got a, uh, we've got a. Uh, uh, is everybody in the chat here? Once everybody's joined us, I think we should uh, dive right in because we've got some really, really, really cool stuff. You know, let's start out on a positive note. We're going to lead with our best foot forward, and here's what I suggest: I suggest we jump straight into some of the memes that have been coming out. Uh, that I'm just really stoked to talk about. First thing is first, because we have been talking so heavily here about Joseph Smith killing all the werewolves, there's actually some artwork that's been popping up on Discord. Is that where you got this from, uh, Jonah? This is, is a not, lot of this from this is, Discord? This was actually a... Uh, Bureau professors recently unearthed this. It is a family photograph that was passed down through the Smith family discovered in a locket. Oh, like in the daguerreotype that they just found? Yes, yes, it's been color restored, obviously, but okay. it is uh, a real life depiction is. of Joseph Smith. Yeah, Th- there it is, <laughs> Joseph That's Smith it. killing all the werewolves. Yes, all right. he's actually awesome. using the, that's the sword of Laban in his left hand, right there. That's the oh. sword of Laban that he's using. I oh. like that he doesn't even look at the werewolves in the eyes. He just he just kills. Yeah, <laughs> not bothered. Not bothered with it. Yeah. Speaking of, whatever happened to Eric Bana? Oh, Eric Bana, you mean the Aussie? The, uh, yeah, he was the Hulk. Remember that old Hulk movie where he fought yeah. that three-headed dog? Yeah, okay. What happened to Eric Bana? He was in he was in a lot of movies. Well, apparently Joseph Smith killed all the werewolves and might have accidentally mistaken some superheroes for werewolves, and they're just not with us anymore. You know, so okay, we what got What happened to one. Emilio Estevez? Uh, that's a really good question. I don't know. Here's another one that I am super stoked about. Jonah Barnes, when did Fidget the Crazy actually make good on her promise to make original artwork for the show? Dude, this, Fidget the Crazy is crazy, this, and she's a crazy good artist. This is really cool. So check this one out, ladies and gentlemen. Fidget the Crazy, uh, a, a beloved um, a beloved watcher of the show, and also her own personal artist, has actually made her own kind of cool uh logo for us i asked her to do a cast photo and this is pretty dang crazy man it's pretty awesome the only thing is are there two brads or is one of those a jonah uh i have yeah oh i think uh okay no i'm holding the such like gen z hair Oh yeah, well no, she's definitely modernized and my my eyebrows look great in this version of me. Much less far less budgy, bushy, far better groomed. But I'm digging, look, there's Quaku, he's got his cool shades on, just like the original logo. I think Brad's on the right. I think Jonah is on the left. And I think that book, I can't see it because it's a little pixelated. I think it's Jonah on the left, and he's holding the apocrypha. And then mm. there's Brittany the Shadow right there. And I like the kind of stylistically illuminated uh ward radio logo that you see right there i think that's pretty cool man so these memes they're rocking it i think i'm totally digging it. what are you thinking jonah the discord is a cool place people and is the link in the discord uh, so, sometimes we get comments saying that the link in the discord doesn't work and other comments saying that it does work but put in the chat right now people if the link in the discord is currently live or if it's not we need to make sure it is it is an awesome community that is sprouting in the discord there's Several different servers in there for everything from memes and jokes to deep doctrine. There's actually Quaku's Corner, which is 
which is a spooky, spooky place. But it's got all kinds of cool people on there. So if you're not on the Discord, you got to get in the Discord. Yeah, and here's the other really cool fidget, the crazy um, uh, original piece of artwork. This is the, uh, like, I don't know if I call it the AAA or the B team or the new generation of um, hosts as well. I do believe that's, uh, this is my first time seeing this, by the way. The cool thing about this is this is my first time seeing this. So I'm pretty sure that that's Jacob Hansen on the right. I think uh, on the left, that's Don Bradley. Do you love Don Bradley's Gen Z bro hair? Like, how cool is the Don Bradley Gen Z bro hair? You know, that's freaking yep. rad. Okay. And then there's, and then Ed and uh, Luke are oh, in the middle there. Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Ed and Luke. I love fidget. I love fidget. 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 <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. All right. So scoring points. Hey, so Ed, you you can jump right in. Uh, you can jump right into frame so they can see you and you can thank oh, Fidget that's the that's Crazy yourself, you know? Thank you, Fidget the Crazy. You're awesome. Yes, that is the most humbling. Actually, Ed, put your head right back where it was. Put your head right back where it was. Look, it's right in the spot. <laughs> Check that out. That's awesome. <laughs> is you right. wearing the same shirts too? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. How did? You, yeah. Look at that. Do it again one more time, Ed, just so they can see. One more time. It's literally. It's like <laughs> Fidget knew exactly what was going on. That's, That's awesome. Crazy. Okay, cool. So uh, we've got a couple of people. Jonah Barnes, you're the ward uh, clerk and librarian. Uh, would you like to welcome the two new members that we have? We just- are thrilled to have received the records of Wilson Wu. Brother Wilson Wu has recently uh, joined the ward radio warship. All those who would like to welcome Brother Wu into the ward, please do so by putting a W in the chat. Okay, so this is a W for Woo. All right, we've got the W for Woo. All right, welcome. Welcome for Woo. Oh, it should be like the Wu Tang logo that they used to do at the concerts. Remember Wu Tang? Yeah. You know, these be like Wu Tang. You, you know? Do you think they, the Wu family does that at Thanksgiving right before they right before they eat the turkey? Do they all do the Wu Tang? I don't know. But Brother Wu is just cool by association. We also now have a member, Michael Roger St. Dennis, as well as uh, another member, uh, Liberty Lady. So, uh, Jonah, Jonah, you got to welcome the new members. We're thrilled to receive the records of Liberty Lady 208 and Michael Roger St. Denise. All those who would like to welcome Sister Liberty and Brother Michael into the chat, please do so by putting a W, a W into the chat. And by the way, if you have to put down two W's, fine. Also, while you're putting down W's, please make sure that you like this stream and you share it with your friends because the Ward Radio Warship, we're going to battle today. We're having some fun. The Ward Radio Wigwam is going to be heating up. The Ward Radio Watchdog is going to be barking today. So, um, you know, uh, boredom, it's a disease. And we're the Ward Radiologists. We're going to cure that right. disease today. You know, right. so that was a good one. I took that from you, Jonah. Anyway, so we <laughs> welcome Liberty Lady. Who else we got to welcome? Uh, I think uh, I think we're I think we're it. done. We're oh, Michael oh. Rogers St. Denise. I, I didn't I okay. thought he'd always been a member. Oh, well, it's like that's two W's. That's a quad a quadra you a quadra you a quadra you a quad you. Yes, exactly. Awesome. OK, great. Well, so I'm going to go over the last couple of these memes uh, or I'll save some later for uh, I'll save some later for the uh, uh, actually, no, we're going to we're, you know, we're going to burn through them right now because there's some really, really good stuff going on here. I don't know. What's this Zodiac looking thing <laughs> what well, I, I don't understand what this is that, it's on so that screen. is actually first nephi chapter one verse one translated into wingdings font <laughs> oh really so this is yeah. the first nephi chapter one translated into what jonah wingdings font it's a font that no one ever uses for anything and i don't know if you ever seen wingdings it's a font. Uh, I've seen wing somebody... I didn't. I didn't know anyone ever really. I thought it was a joke font. I didn't know people. Yeah, it is a joke font. So but you somebody... literally yeah. translated First Nephi one one out of the. Uh, it's inspired translation into English from hmm. the Reformed Egyptian, which was probably some kind of hieratic or demotic that had been mixed with Mayan, according to uh, not Mayan, <laughs> but according to like something Hebrew and Mayan. According to what's that really great podcast we did on Jerry Grover who had mm-hmm. done some interesting translation work there. Okay, yeah. so I just want to run this by Jerry Grover really fast. Yeah. If this is a correct translation into Wingding font, 
And yeah, what's amazing is that the Wingding font actually has a single character for and it came to pass, which only proves more that, yes. that okay. the Book of Mormon really comes from an ancient language. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, d- okay, this is great. And there's there's more. They just keep coming after the Wingding font. Uh, oh, my gosh, is this real? Jonah, did we yeah. make it uh, d- to New York? This is incredible. Yeah. Did somebody, did some wealthy like viewer pay for this or what's going on here, man? No, I think actually Louis, Louis Vuitton was using it to draw eyes to their product and their advertisements. You know, they got, <laughs> look, we're using in Times Square. We're in Times yeah. Square. We've crashed Sunday school effectively in New Zealand. Now we're crashing Times Square. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I am honored, my friend. I am honored. And then this one is uh, interesting. Um, there's a new announcement, it seems, about uh, church scheduling. Could you clarify what this announcement is, my friend? Because I am clueless. Uh, so our church moved to 9 a.m. church. Woo woo! Because we're more righteous than the other wards in the yeah, state. Yeah, no, that totally and, sucks. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so this is a man from the pulpit announcing, we'd like to discourage referring to 9 a.m. church as, quote, getting it out of the way, end quote. <laughs> Also, we refer it then. Um, By the way, I I've I have had this idea. I've made the suggestion to the church, and they're never going to do it. But if they did, you'd have nearly a hundred percent attendance for for uh, on YSA wards, and that would be stop doing church on Sunday mornings for YSA. Make it all Sunday evenings. Oh, dude, you'd I'm have actually... better musical numbers. It'd be like a cool like. Sunday night is like the fun time with refreshments. Yeah, yeah. People actually will <laughs> look better. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be. We're doing a cool, cool musical number Sunday night. People can practice all day. Everyone would show up. It'd be way better. I'm why, telling you. Why is it just for YSA though? I'd rather go at night too. Yeah, but kids. Well, and there's I like mean, so many different family wars. You give like them melatonin and they night. fall out in the back seat. No, but if you started at like. Oh. I don't know. Well, because you got you got family dinner and all that stuff, and you got to like you know. Do it after like seven to eight. But I'm saying why? I but guess also, two hours, it'd be though. easier though because then family wards can be finished, and then just why I say you know. Yeah. Okay. It's not a better. party, people. It's not a party. All right, we're commemorating the death of Jesus Christ by taking yes, the holy but, emblems. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. But also. Jonah. But also. Oh but also, let's be real. It goes unused <laughs> Sunday nights. Uh, you know, he does bring up a good point. He does bring up a good point. So uh, anyway, we've got a uh, we got a couple of the ones here that we're going to have to burn through. And uh, they seem they, they seem pretty hilarious. So we're going to check them out uh, after getting uh, church out of the way. We've got uh, another one. Jonah, there's a knight on my screen. Describe this night. It says my body is a temple. Therefore, I am a church and exempt from paying taxes. <laughs> it's just pretty self-explanatory. Hey. <laughs> Taxation is theft. Your body's a temple. It works. Oh my gosh! Has anybody? There's probably been some internet troll that's tried to use that line before, right? I'm probably somebody has probably put that on their IRS filings. I I would wager. Okay, and then talk to me about ha- Harry Potter. Who is this? Who is this? That's Hagrid. This is Hagrid from Harry Potter. Quaku, can you do a good Hagrid voice? Can you read that in a good Hagrid voice? Yeah, are you a big Harry Potter fan? No. You're in the what? Celestial Kingdom, Harry. I never, do, I don't do Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Brittany, the Shadow just busted Brittany's out some it. serious there wasn't very Hagrid. Good. No, do that one more time, I can't Brittany. Do deep enough of a voice. No, hey, look, you're but rocking like, it. Do it, do it, do it. You're in the Celestial Kingdom, Harry. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty good. You're in the Celestial Kingdom, Harry. Okay, that's I can't do it very well either. Yeah, that was a little Yoda-ish. Yeah, that was a little bit Yoda-ish. Yeah. I confess that was nerds. not my best. That was not you my best work. What's wrong with nerds? That's Quake. not and, my best work. And we are thrilled to have received the records of Chase Johnson into the Ward Radio Worship. All those who would like to welcome Brother Chase as the newest member of the Ward, please do so by putting a W in the chat. Okay, so Brother Chase, C-H-A-S-E. W-W-W-W-W. We've got four W's. He's the fifth W today. Lots right? of people. Lots of people joining. So we're putting in the fifth W. Also, Luke Hansen, who is not yet a member, therefore should not be mentioned in the uh, <laughs> chat. Um, no, I'm just kidding. He's earned his keep. He's Luke. earned his keep. <laughs> Luke's not he a says, member? Yeah, he says, yo, Fidget, I'm looking to commission some art for my YouTube channel. How can I find you? Let me answer that question for you, Luke Hansen. You can find her on the Discord. And by the way, you know what I'm going to do right now is uh, on the Discord, I'm actually going to open a new tab while you guys can't see, and I'm just going to do this in real time, 
is um, each one of these links to the Discord only lasts one week at a time. And I've done ah. that. I've done that as part of the. Uh, I've done that as part of the beta testing of it to have an automatic leak that doesn't last forever, so people can't just copy and paste it on like Exmo subreddit and just like you know troll it and so on and so forth. But if they're saying that it might have expired, that might be the reason why. So I'm actually going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that uh, invite right now. It's actually pretty fun. You know, uh, you just come on here and then boom, shakalaka, you make a uh, you just create an invite. OK, and then it lasts seven days. I'm going on to the website right now and I am actually resetting the social link for another seven days right now just to make sure that um, make sure that it's good for anybody that wants to join. So really fast, guys, there is a fresh seven day new and improved fully published and ready to rock and roll link to uh, discord on wardradio.com in fact i'm going to show on your screen exactly where it is for those of you that aren't familiar with our discord if you uh, open up your preferred browser and you go to wardradio.com you'll notice we got a full blown robust website it's super fun at the bottom there you guys can actually sign up for our uh, little newsletter you can read a little bit about the host and you can see that there's um, our live stream going on live right there. And here's all of the videos that we used to do. You can watch our stuff. But on the top, OK, on the very top of the uh, website above that um, where it says, you know, home about contact, so on and so forth. There's a bunch of those little circles for all of our different social media links. Well, uh, that circle on the right is actually the discord icon and if you guys click on the discord icon It'll take you to discord and you'll have a lot of fun with us there And you'll be able to see some of these memes just like this one here that uh, Jonah Barnes is going to uh, describe to us Apparently, this is how you look Jonah Barnes uh, Leaving a situation the Holy Spirit clearly told you not to get involved in what? <laughs> Who made this one bro? <laughs> We've all been there, people. We've all been there. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a better way to communicate to the Gen Zers, you know, instead of like lecturing them about the spirit for an hour in Sunday school, just show them this meme. Be like, this is what's going to happen. And be like, oh, that, yeah. As our resident sense. Zoomer Quaku, do you feel uh, do you feel inspired to run from sin because you've seen you've seen this uh, this example laid before you? Um, I'm not sure having a picture of a dog <laughs> that's literally <laughs> horny is going to be the best way to demonstrate that. That's funny. Um, I had looked at him as disheveled. I hadn't quite it seen him. He looked kind of like a porcupine with little thorns coming out. Yeah. No, this yeah. is th okay. When the Holy Spirit tells you not to go to that young and dumb show. That's okay. true. That's Never just, happened. What, no, have <laughs> have they preached? Have you been in a Sunday school where they have preached out uh, specifically against young and dumb? Dude, mutual sponsored us. We're fine. <laughs> oh, really? I do. When I threw parties for the Hollywood House, I visited a friend and somebody gave a talk about like resisting temptation. They said, "Yeah, if the Hollywood House ever throws a party and they're like doing bad things or serving alcohol, you know, you just shouldn't go." And like, oh I was like, gosh. "You know, you've made it." Because first off, we didn't uh, sell alcohol, and <laughs> right, second right. off, what bad stuff? Dancing? You know, what right, are you defending right. here? Suburbanism in the early two thousand? No, no. It, it, honestly, you know what it is? What we? I've had this a couple times. Uh -huh. I've had a, a like. We'll get a DM from like some BYU guy who's like, I just feel like like sometimes what the girls are wearing is really inappropriate, and like if you're a member of the church, you should be, you should be. and uh, and I every time compared I go to, his profile, to what dog? No, no, no. Here's the thing. I knew oh. he's hiding something. Every time I go to his profile and I see his ex girlfriend, and I can see their pictures oh. when they were dating, and I'm like, she was at the party. And he uh, wasn't. And his old flame is getting rizzed up by some other dude, and he's mad about it. So he's trying to find a way he can be. You know, dude, 90, just you can take this to the bank. And I know this offends the conservative people. And the only time we ever lost subscribers was on that Sports Illustrated episode. There were so many people that were pissed. And I said, fine. Fine, pack your bags and go home. At the end of the day, I will tell you, 99% of the people that push modesty in our church have zero riz. 
99 percent of the people that push all these silly modesty clauses as seen only through the lens of 1960s fashion standards and suburban standards it's it's not because they're so freaking holy that they want people covering okay, up. But it's because you know they got what? zero riz, dude. Zero riz. When I hear a talk about tithing, I don't want to hear from the rich guy that's got money that can afford it. I want to hear from the dude that's paycheck to paycheck that needed the money and ended up sacrificing in order to do it just because he had total faith. I want to hear that brother that bridged a gap that nobody yeah, saw. Can I, I, not, not, not the dude that couldn't do it. And I don't want to hear law chastity before. talks from a dude with zero riz. Oh my gosh. Or, for, like, I, or, or here, like, I said this before on the show, Zach Wilson, I want him teaching my law of chastity lesson. When it's Ned, who is who is watching Star Wars and has his Captain America shirt with the garment line poking out, that guy, I always follow the law of chastity. You don't have a choice. I don't want to hear it from you. You know what? I want to hear it from the guy who just happened to push off women left and right. I want Jonah Barnes up there telling us how it's done, how I know, he maintained talking about his standards. My ears are burning. Yes, yes. If How- you involuntarily follow the law of chastity, I never want to hear you talk <laughs> about the law of chastity. That's a new way. Instead of calling them incels, call them involuntary. Okay. <laughs> involuntary uh, law of chastity followers. Yes, we ha- We are thrilled to see Brother Schmau, oh, wow. who is fulfilling his calling as a ward missionary and has gifted a ward radio membership to Brother Fogtow. All those who would like to welcome Brother Fogtow into the Ward Radio Wigwam, yes. please do so by putting a W in the chat, as well as Brother Anthony Gamblin and Sister Brother Huey. Please remain standing until your name is called. <laughs> um, also, sorry, please please remain standing until your name is called, people. Um, also, R.J. Johnson who has been a, a faithful member and calling f- and uh, with a with a devoted calling that he fulfills has not had his name read into the ward yet and we are thrilled to have brother johnson there all those who would like to welcome brother johnson brother oh, Carter, we need to clarify something based on the comments yeah what and brother I, anthony please sorry, put jo- some w's in the chat i want to clarify something when i say fall in love chastity i mean actually has a chance to like sleep with girls none of this none of this www.pword.com nonsense none of that None of that. I'm talking about the real deal, no. the real thing. <laughs> None of this. We didn't doubt you. Like, like, yeah, you have you. internet access and you delete your browser history. Woo! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about the real chads, the real winners. Hey, well, speaking of chads, I've never seen this version of the Nordic Man meme. Uh, I thought you might appreciate this one, Quaku Ooh, Joseph L. Smith has the. You know, boom shot. They make Martin that. Luther the yeah. demented <laughs> troll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, dude. Okay, Jonah, did you make this one or did this one did come not, off this part? <laughs> did you make that one? I am reporting the news. I am the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just I'm just reporting memes that have been put into our discord. They're fantastic memes. Dude, I love this. The age of prophets is over and then Joseph Smith is standing there. Wrong. Wrong. Dude, that is actually pretty dang epic. And then uh, it, it, explain me this one. What was this one? I didn't see this one. I didn't get a chance to read it. Link so remember the the, uh, the ever so courageous and brave uh, bishop in Mississippi who decided to use the pulpit to um, traumatize, spiritually traumatize all the youth in the ward. Yeah, that okay. guy, that yeah. very, very brave, courageous guy. Uh, Kyle put a link in the Discord, a link for that Exmo bishop about fake crying. About how you always oh. look crying, but there's no actual tears. Oh, so, well, I don't. I, I, I'm. I'm not prepared quite yet to say fake crying, but um, definitely inappropriate. You know, actually, there's been some updates on the whole Mississippi Bishop thing. Do you want to dive right mm-hmm. in? You oh, know, sure. We can get to the. We can get to the rest later. The uh, no. Oh, oh, do we have? Uh, no, we actually. Here's the last two. The last two that I saw in the Discord: Boom Shock Lock, a blue background Ward Radio. Oh, oh, is this what I think it is, bro? That is uh, Weezer Blue, one of the most perfect albums ever released in the history of music. Uh, right. really? short. How am I was going to say, yeah, why am I the shortest one? Who made this meme? A little. Like, what the heck? Who made this meme, man? Was that you, hey, Jonah? Dude, the, the crowd, the people, the, the Vox Populi Vox Day. All right. I get this from the Discord, and this is what they've said. This That's is funny. maybe a mental projection yeah. of representation. Dude, my head looks so massive. Compared to everybody else, and Dude, Brad, neck. Brad does look good in pink, though. And 
Um, Kwaku, you're you're still a handsome fella. No, even uh, it while makes me slouch. look fat. Well, I wouldn't say fat. I would just say you look weirdly. You're body positive. No, you're body positive. You know, well, you're the best looking one in that group. Although I don't know, Jonah. It looks like his neck's dislocated, but he does look pretty good. And Brad, of course, Brad. It's not pink. It's salmon. Brad Ooh. looks really good in salmon. Brad and, looks good all the time. It yeah. Whoa, off. whoa! Join the revolution. Join Ward Radio. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't see that one coming. Who made that? Yeah. The, dude, this is the people. This is the people. Comes wow. out of the out of the zeitgeist, you know. Wow, this is intense. Okay, cool. Well, that is crazy, man. That is that 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 is us. That was super fun. Um, I we got to do that more often. Why were the memes flying this week in comparison? Usually we got like three or four. There was like twenty memes this week. What was going? Oh, there's on? There's actually there's tons more, but we can save them for another time if if you want to get to the Expo Bishop. You know, we, we can say yeah, no, we'll bring them back. Actually, throw some more in the Discord, and I'll pull them up. Uh, after we listen to yeah, our uh, Exmo Bishop friend. Now, I haven't actually seen what this has to say yet, uh, but somebody did indeed alert me to this, that apparently um, our Exmo Bishop friend down in uh, down in Mississippi has already gone full-blown uh, Exmo anti-mortem, and he's chilling on Exmo subreddit. Apparently, that only took 24 to 48 hours. And uh, we still don't know ostensibly what, you know, he was supposedly asked to do that was immoral and so on and so forth. I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying, well, of course, you know, that's that's rule number 14 of uh, anti-Mormons is um, they they rely upon vagaries. You know, you can never use specifics. They rely upon vagaries. But, you know, I don't want to throw this guy under the bus yet until we ha- hear what he has to say it, again. You know, I will say, though, so, based yeah. on that, uh, that, that his, you know video at the pulpit um i just i didn't know travis kelsey was so emotional <laughs> That's, i don't know Brittany. you're our resident you looks our, like travis kelsey you i can see it i can see it you're our resident taylor swift you can see it what's the do you think he looks like travis kelsey yeah in a way no, he in a way it's the beard but you know, scruff, it, it's know. The beard. If, he had, if he had little hoop earrings, little like, yeah, if he had some earrings, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, he totally. Well, see, it. here's an interest. This is the interesting thing about our uh, Mississippi Exmo Bishop situation. This is why why I'm curious. I, I think he's going to be miserable, miserable within six months, because we're all joking that this guy looks like Travis Kelsey. Well, let me tell you what he looks like and what he sounds like according to what he has said himself. He's a dude that lives in the South in Mississippi, which isn't exactly a blue state. He wears Carhartt beanies and hoodies, probably a hardworking, maybe even blue collar guy that homeschools his kids. Um, I don't think he's a liberal I don't think he's hanging out with AOC. I don't think once uh, he's gone all Exmo. But the truth is, uh, I I think he's made a bad decision because once the Exmo, especially the Exmo anti-Mormon subreddit community that he's posting on, figures out that uh, I, there's a decent chance he was a Trump voter. There's a decent chance that he's conservative. I mean, uh, you said it yourself, Quaku, that liberals, they don't liberals, homes- don't, liberals they don't homeschool, homeschool their, their kids. kids. They don't homeschool. Homeschooling's conservative. And. I hate to break it to you. Ex-Mormonism doesn't mean you have to be liberal, but the majority of the but ex-Mormon you podcast community and people on those subreddits... And those He's going to get kicked out liberal. of the club. Once the Exmo anti-Mormon folks have used him for whatever embarrassment a bishop resigning from the pulpit gives, once he's got his 15 minutes of fame, and that clock is ticking... Let me tell you, I think we should add up all the TikToks. He had, what, the seven-minute speech from the pulpit? Then he had, like, a two- or three-minute talk on TikTok. Seven plus three, that's ten. He's literally only got five more minutes of well, TikTok and, famosity before they're going to kick him out because he's conservative. Well, There's he, he, no he, room yeah. for anybody or that's he's not— he's going to become a liberal. Yeah, or he's going to have to shift, and he's going to have to become politically progressive. So, so and, and what's interesting about this is um, I've seen this happen in real, in real time. I've seen uh, uh, ex Mormons who are conservative in the on- online debate, and the problem is one of the biggest um, uh, debates among progressive members of the church and ex members of the church is the church's stance on temple ceilings, right? And that being a reason people leave, well, 
if you're not on board with all of the mainstream positions in regard to the LGBTQ community, then if then you're in a weird position as an ex Mormon. Yeah. And I say as an, and when I say ex Mormon, I mean as an online engaged ex Mormon in that space, not a guy who stopped going at 16 and yeah. doesn't care. You know, someone who's engaged in that ex Mormon space. Well, if you then have an opinion on anything um, LGBTQ abortion um, that is not left, you suddenly now start representing the ethos of patriarchy and right wing that they associate with the LDS church and their anger is against you as well. So it's this interesting thing because you you think you're just going into a place of a bunch of people who just decide to leave the church and that's it. No, 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 no. You are going into a vetted space. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta vote the way you they gotta want. toe that line, dude. You can the amount of dissent, room for thinking out loud, the the the, the, the wiggle room for figuring it out, and all these euphemisms we have for people working on their testimony and getting closer to God and starting to believe things in different gradients and levels. The amount of wiggle room and elbow room that you have amongst active members of the church, the thought experiments that we have gone on on this show, everything from multiple mortal probations to, uh, you know, percentages of tithing all the way down to modesty or, uh, you know, whether uh, prophets and popes are fallible or infallible. The, the wide array of what we're allowed to talk to on this side is is vast. Dude, well, now, Exmo subreddit, man. There's, I'm sorry, there's bro. An, you can't say an one conservative thing or they kick you out of the club, dog. Now that's totally true. The Exmo subreddit will not allow you if you are if you are not liberal. But, yeah, but there be is prepared to get in- downvoted once your 15th minute of TikTok fame is over because that's- you don't want to vote for that a word bill. You know, that says, oh, now you can kill them as old as two years old if you don't want them. You know, well, but that's that's when the evangelicals take them. There's plenty of conservative Christians and but evangelicals who problem, will take He it. said, seek the Christ, your higher self. That's not evangelical Christianity. That's 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 uh, that's uh, new age, that's baby. New age. We love it. New age. So so mm-hmm. what, that's Quaku's friend. And I would, by the way, I would love to have a one on one Mississippi Bishop and me go back and forth on new ageism. I might be able to bring it back. Okay. I by the way, to... we're like guessing what it is. Yeah, we have no clue. <laughs> we clock ourselves. He could have a giant rainbow flag and a Biden poster, and be like, "Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, you're fine." <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but we yeah. don't know. Did you see but... the videos? Did you see the new videos? No, we're, we're 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 gonna watch them right well, now. Last point. Live last reaction. point I want to yes. make. He also, and again, I'm not. I'm when I say he timed this poorly. I'm not saying he, he was faking this whole thing and he was trying to get a publicity design. I, I I do think he was being honest from the heart, but from the marketing standpoint. If I remove my emotions, I look at this purely from marketing. He chose the wrong time because we're going into election season, which means the ex-Mormon subreddit is about to be the most toxic it could possibly be because the Internet in general is about to be the most toxic it could possibly be. So he's going to have to not give any political opinions if he's right wing with all these newfound uh, 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 people who look up to him. And if he's not voting for Biden or whoever the nominee is because they might run in Michelle Obama or Gavin Newsom, if he's not voting for it, oh my gosh, and if it's Michelle Obama, yeah, he can't just not talk about it. If he doesn't go and say, I love Michelle Obama, oh boy. So, I mean, it really, he is, he like, people don't realize, uh, Jonathan Streeter has been canceled uh, by the ex-Mormon community because he is conservative. He's even Anathema. Jacob's brother, Forrest Hansen, can't even he, he can't even get people to watch his show. Latter Day Skeptic can't get traction well, because Latter-day he's not is so ex-Mormon, anti-Mormon, and they don't mess with him because he's Republican. He is radioactively toxic against the church, and that doesn't matter because remember uh, what's um, I think it's uh, I think it's the anti-Mormon rule number three is it's always political first, religious second. And, um, you know, it's it's about being a missionary of uh, of progressive secularism into the church instead of a missionary of God love God's love into a secular society. So um, I'm telling you, I, I feel bad for this Mississippi bishop, brother, whatever he was going through. I feel like he could have gotten help. I would have loved to have talked to him. I would love to be a sounding board. Uh, tell him, hey, you know, whatever stress you got, I, I'm sure it's founded. You, you seem like a reasonable guy, so on and so forth. But um, I, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think the grass is greener on the other side. I'm just expressing doubts here. Remember, doubts those sacred cows that must be coddled. Uh, and now you have to change your entire life 
to um, make sure that I feel comfortable in my doubts here, right? Uh, of course, until we start doubting other sides. Okay, do you want to get to so, Super Chats? So anyway, yeah, let's get to the Super Chats really fast, and then we're going to react to what uh, your boy, the uh, the Mississippi uh, uh, Travis Kelsey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, has to say. But Brittany, keep us the chats. Catch us up. Okay, Bryce Jones says, why do you guys play identity politics? You always categorize people as anti-Mormon, or put them in a bucket based on your personal opinion of their beliefs. Or the that's bucket. not identity. That's not identity. <laughs> You're, that's not. I, that's not an immutable characteristic. You need to look at the definition of identity politics. You can choose to be an anti-Mormon, or you can choose to walk away and leave it alone. That's not identity politics. Next question. Yeah. Well, and also I'd say I'm not painting with some broad brush. He chose to identify as ex-Mormon, and what's the proof? Oh, wait. Look at the hashtags on the browser that he posted. The Bishop's Storehouse, he calls himself. Okay, and it says hashtag Exmo, hashtag Exmormon, hashtag Mississippi Bishop, hashtag Sunday Funday. The man is ostensibly self-representing his identity as Exmormon, anti-Mormon, and Mississippi Bishop. Okay, the ex-Mormon community is not the inactive community. That's different. And I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important that we make this uh, decision. In the regular colloquial world, ex means like, oh, I just used to be. Okay. Like ex-wife was I used to be his wife. Ex-military uh, means I used to be in the military. And it means previous participation in. But the uh, post-member anti-Mormon community has chosen this hashtag as a rallying cry. The people who are overtly against the church and choose to make their post-Mormonism one of the principal aspects of their identity and go after the church day after day after day after day, just like people on the Daily Stormer go after Jews, just like uh, neo-Nazis are anti-Semitic and so on and so forth. The, uh, the place where they assemble and they meet and they rehearse their tropes and their straw men and so on and so forth is uh, the Axmo subreddit. You know what I'm saying? And just like all these other words have been stolen, just like the words tolerance has been stolen, just like uh, 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 the word acceptance has been stolen, just like the word love has been corrupted, marriage has been corrupted, uh, faith has been corrupted, deconstruction has been corrupted, just like all these other words have been stolen and corrupted, the word X itself, the prefix itself has been stolen and corrupted and drastically represents a lot of people who rage quit and get famous for it. People that walk out of their um, supposedly deeply difficult uh, excommunications and courts of love, showing the recording they made, waiting to brag about it online. The people that sneak into our temples and try and film pornographic scenes in them and then get interviews on uh, shows named after primary songs. Okay. You know, they, they always, they, it's not the ex Mormon bishop storehouse. He's calling himself the Bishop's Storehouse, which in politics we call purposeful voter confusion. OK, I still take issue with the fact that the Mormon Stories podcast is called the Mormon Stories podcast. And I would have more uh, respect for the board members of that organization if they would change it to the ex Mormon Stories podcast. So at least there's no purposeful voter confusion, as I see in my mind. So anyway, no, whoever tried to say that, oh, yeah, you're just engaged in identity politics. No. We are calling people by what they call themselves. And these people have self-identified as ex-Mormon and antagonistic to the church. This man himself has said we are brainwashed, that we are immoral. Mm -hmm. And what was the other one, uh, Jonah? What did he say? He said brainwashed, immoral, smelly. The, <laughs> smelly, yes, exactly. I am so, not smelly. Yeah, you don't smell. Yeah, exactly. So, How dare he? Yeah, so anyway, uh, we're going to react to what he has to say, but Brittany's got to catch us on the Super Chats and then okay. we're out. Shirley Graf Allen says, my records never got read into the ward and sustained. Oh, oh, well, this this, this needs oh, to be uh, written. I, what was your name? Shirley Graf Allen. Sister Shirley. Everybody knows Sister Shirley, but please go ahead and stand up, Sister Shirley. Sister Shirley, stand up. By the way, stand Sister up. Shirley, go on Ward Radio and email us a picture of you standing in front of your yep. laptop or yep. your computer, and you're going to get one of those T-shirts. <laughs> you need to get us a picture of you standing to be sustained in front of your internet audience, and you will get... Do you have a list of everyone that we yes. give shirts to? Yes. Okay. There's uh, there's um, the New Zealander guy, mm -hmm. okay? 
There's uh, there's the New Zealander guy. Arcade Hero. There's Arcade Hero. Danny Gray brought to my attention that I had promised him a t-shirt once as well. And also Carolyn Wright Gaines Music has been very generous to us always on these uh, uh, podcasts and live streams. So she's got one coming for her. So the first four and that come hot off the prop. there was someone who, that contest of who could do the Ward Radio, the alliteration. Oh, did we never chose a winner for that, but we have to. We didn't? I thought we did. No, I never. Uh, th- no, there was people that said, uh, I liked Ward Radio Warship. I liked Ward Radio that Watch was my Dogs. Idea. So do I get a shirt? Yeah, I'll give you a shirt. Thanks. I liked Ward Radio Warship. That was good. You, you win the shirt, babe. You win the shirt. All, okay. all those who would like to welcome Sister Shirley into the war. Please remain standing, Sister Shirley. Please remain standing. And Thank take you. a picture. All those who would like to welcome Sister Shirley into the war, please do so by putting a W in the chat. Yes. W also, what's chat. more awkward when you're standing being sustained and everyone's looking at you or right after you go bowling and you have to walk back? Which one is more awkward? <laughs> <laughs> what if you were bowling? What if the bishop came to you while you were bowling and you're walking back and right then? And you, did you, you bowl a strike or did you totally no, tank and like gutter a ball? gutter ball. Well, see, that's the problem. If you bowl a that's strike and you walk back, Actually, no, I you think walk strike. back with swatter, I swagger. Think, no, strike would be more awkward because you're like, trying to celebrate but like no one really cares that you got a strike so it's like oh i'm just celebrating. no no myself. no i would be celebrating and if they didn't care i'd smack them on the face and be like why aren't you celebrating with me Uh oh okay yeah <laughs> you're like okay all right um, um keep us uh keep kay. us of the chats catch us up on the chat nicole terry says check out the screenshot i sent in discord in the suggested topics for the show oh Obviously, just hearsay, but methinks Mississippi Bishop is a creep. Oh, oh, I wouldn't Yikes. say that. I wouldn't say that. I, I think that's a colloquialism that is used to express frustration that uh, is yeah, misapplied. I, he looks like that. a nice guy. He just, it, yeah, I feel like this, the church wasn't for him. Um, Poor decision maker does not make one creepy, but girls have, to, you know, uh, that's a word, one of the words that I would add to the list of words that's been corrupted. The word creep has been corrupted, unfortunately, by women over the past 20 years. And I do believe it is misapplied because at the end of the day, this is uh, this is I, I, I don't think that uh, colloquialism applies. But that's coming from your experience as a man. Um, so are uh, I'm just huh? saying sometimes women, sometimes men do deserve a creep title. So if you're saying that we're abusing that word, it's like, well, maybe sometimes it's warranted. Well, here's my problem with the whole world creep. It's dependent on how attractive the man is. If a good looking man Mm -hmm. on the first day of your uh, ward at BYU-Idaho sees you at church, thinks you're gorgeous, looks you up in the the ward uh, directory like back when they used to have him and cold calls you and says, hey, I saw you at church today and I thought you were beautiful. Well, no, actually not cold calls you. Let's just say he shows up at your doorstep. He's got flowers. Happened a million times. Yeah. Yeah. So he (laughs) shows up with flowers. He says, I just saw you at church on Sunday. I thought you were stunning. I just, I could not live with myself if I didn't just go out on a limb and ask you out. Well, if he looks like Zac Efron, you're going to say that he's a dreamboat, that he's bold, that he's courageous, that he's sexy. I actually don't really like Zac Efron. Okay. Okay, well, Brad Whitbeck. Okay, if he looks like <laughs> Brad Whitbeck. Exactly. I thought you were going to say Jonah Barnes. Or yeah, Ed okay. Thomas. So no, you don't know. if he looks like Jonah Barnes and Ed Thomas mixed together, <laughs> you're going to say, oh, he's a dreamboat. Oh, he's brave. Oh, he's courageous. All this other stuff. Oh. But... If he's a geeky looking dude that's kind of overweight and has maybe a a speech impediment and he shows up with those flowers at your doorstep and he's short, if he's shorter than you and he says, oh, hey, uh, uh, Brittany, I I, I saw you at church on Sunday and I just thought you were the prettiest girl. I actually did go out with a guy. I always said yes to everyone. Yeah, but don't tell me. You would slam the door in his face. You turn around and you tell his roommates that he's creepy. Even though he said literally just the exact same sentence that the handsome guy did. Would you two just get married already? Would you two just get married already? Also, also. They've abused the word. How would we make Uh, this work? We can't get along. (laughs) Also, though, on the other side of that word creepy is uh, like. There, something about the early 2000s people dating, it was more honest, okay? But now with social media, if you have a, if you, if you have a beef with a boy in your high school and you were, you're a girl, you can just go and be like, oh, yeah, I hung out with him. He was really, really creepy. You could say it could be completely You can put him on fake. blast and ruin his life. You could do that. You could completely. Yeah. And so, like, this whole thing also relies upon, like, women being moral and women are as moral as men so not very 
because people generally tend to be immoral liars. So, like, I don't know. I feel like whenever people, I don't know, I, I, I hate to be this jaded, but I feel like when, when, when you know, when girls say, oh, that guy's creepy, I don't necessarily believe them immediately anymore. Because I saw how they made The word's been stolen whole, and corrupted. Like, it's just like wo- intolerance. It's like Nazi. Well, the whole. Oh, my gosh. The that whole, dude, like, the neo Nazi. Believe all women thing, right? The whole believe all women thing. Yeah. Yeah, it started out great. Everyone was on board. And then we realized people were lying. People were making stuff up. Yeah. Like the, like the girl who accused Justin Bieber of the R word on Twitter. And Dude, then, there's- And then Justin Bieber, a people kid found from the my IP high address, school? came after her. Found she was a liar. She had to make an apology. People started lying about stuff. Hey, dude. So I don't buy it. I the don't L.A. It. Dodgers pitcher was in my high school. What's his name? Travis Bauer? Travis. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's it? Yeah. Yeah. He's been factually found innocent, you know? And he's still... He, the, the, uh, the, the Major League Baseball is now getting sued because they kicked him out. But now that he's been found factually innocent, they're still not bringing him back just because the the smoke is so thick. The dude literally has been found factually innocent in court or something along those lines. I mean, don't quote me on this, but that that's ostensibly what's happened to him. And his life is still ruined. So, yeah, I got to tell you that it's now, the most now, worn now, out hashtag on the internet. To be clear, I wanna be, I'm not saying like if a, if a friend, if a girl comes to me and says this terrible thing happened, I'm not going to believe her. Of course But what not. I'm saying is I'm no longer, if a guy's publicly accused of something bad, I'm not going to pick up the pitchfork. And chase him with the, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, I'm not pitchfork, holding the I think, anymore. would be a little bit dated, but you a know. torch. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to chase the troll out of like town. Like a flashlight? No, no, no. It's the pitchfork and the torches because you're burning the witch. I know. I was know? just kidding. Oh. In England, they call them a torch, but uh, anyway, oh, oh, whatever. <laughs> so, okay, you know, that's, moving on. Are moving on. Super yeah. chats. Yes. Okay. Uh, Pro Life Utah says, okay. "Will you shout out Utah's March for Life?" January 20th, 11 a.m. at the Utah State Capitol. I heard it makes for a great ward activity. Love you guys. Oh, yes, absolutely. I think the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has the single most well-rounded and doctrinally sound approach to the big A word, except for in cases of the R word, the I word, or the mother's life. Um, I, 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 it's sinful. It's abomination. It's 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 a moral calamity. Uh, it, it I've seen it ruin people's lives. Uh, it's a, sometimes a medical necessity, so on and so forth. But the way that our society has just normalized um, this is I, 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 generations after us will look back at us uh, like barbarians in the same way that we look back at the people who did bloodletting and like taking, you know, like cutting people's skulls open to let the demons out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In medieval times and stuff like that will look upon us as barbarians. 200 years from now so um yeah dude pro-life utah you march away you 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 march on that that's are those, awesome are those marches big the pro-life marches i don't know you seen them Brittany? i have not seen them because a lot oh and this, I, and this is why i feel guilty the last big female march i remember was the hats yeah where they had the the hoo-hoo hats on remember yeah, the yeah, yeah but that was the pro-choice march yeah. not the uh Right, that oh, was the pro oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but this is the march for life. So this is the anti that march. So yeah, what cool hats do they have? Because look, if the pro choice people <laughs> have memorable be hats, you got to market yourself well. Because you know what? You know what? When Trump had the Bill MAGA Burr. hat, Trump had the MAGA hat, and Hillary, all she had was the "I'm with her" thing. Nah, she needed cool hats or a scarf or something. Yeah. So what do you have for life, Utah? Do you got? Do you got a satchel? Do you have some? You know, and don't do the pins. The buttons, it's like no one wants I gotta put it through my shirt and hope it doesn't stab me. You gotta come up with something <laughs> cool, you know what I mean? Like you need a cool thing if you want to compete. Okay, so So the ex so in the Discord we have a lead and, and this could be kind of hearsay. This person has said that they personally know the Mississippi uh bishop who so courageously courageously took the microphone from Jesus Christ's sacred emblems in remembrance of his sacrifice, courageously took the microphone to uh, to speak, that she personally knows him and that there are other details to the story that he's not disclosing, and she put it in the Discord. Now, somebody asked, would it be all right if we put this in the Discord so that Cardin could see it? And the person said, yes, go right ahead with her name on it. I don't okay. know if we want to read it. Did, well, you didn't put it. I think you put it in the community Discord on accident. I'm looking at it right now. Is it in the Ward Radio it. Discord or is it in the community Discord? Community Discord. Okay, so you just put you want it me to put it in. Well, I got to be able to see it. The the uh, there's too many sub channels in the community Discord. There, threw it in. Just okay, threw it in. Okay, so um, I will check that out. Give me a second. 
Uh, sure. In the meantime, do we want to listen well, to what he has to say himself, or do you want to catch up to Super Chats? There's a lot more Super Chats. Okay, yes. catch us Go up ahead, on please. Super Chats, and then we'll uh, listen to what he has to say himself. Okay, so PC says, the big X is Republican, but you're right, there's a rough ride ahead. Also, I love Mississippi. What's, All right. What's the big X? The big X is Republican? That's the Mississippi vision. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention there for a second. I was trying to move a tab, so. Rude. Okay. Yeah, I apologize. Um, Carolyn Wright Gaines Music says, please pray for those that have clearly been deceived. There will most likely be more to come as we are in the times of the sitting of the wheat and the tares. Love my Ward Radio family. Aww. Oh, man. Thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn Wright Gaines Music! <laughs> Rock on. Um, okay. Ward Music Leader. I'm scrolling. Yeah. Uh, okay, Fidget the Crazy says, I suggest either Cardin check his DMs on Discord or Jonah check the art channel for a funny comic if you continue the meme review. All right. I'll look, I'll look at it and when we come back to the memes. I'll, we'll, yeah, we we'll, might have to do that. Okay. Um, Bryce Jones says, your rebuttal sucked. Sorry. But how do you defend calling every person anti-Mormon? Well, if the shoe fits. I, I mean, we got, well, <laughs> we <laughs> just explained. Just I, explained it. Look. Uh, anti-Mormon is not an identity. That's not identity politics. That's some as these people choose to call themselves that, and it's how they choose to behave. We can uh, we, you can't take issue with somebody who who leaves the church and devotes all their time and energy to bashing the church and harassing my middle schoolers and high schoolers about how they're going to hell. How would we have ever gotten through the Nuremberg trials with this attitude? I'm sorry. What kind of an attitude but is it's this? Like, how dare you paint all those people that wear swastikas? On their right shoulders with such broad brushes. They're identity just, politics. This is identity politics. I mean, well, well, and, well, you know, who doesn't engage in okay. people to be fair, though, violence Jones, because of their religion? I will say this. Um, I do think oftentimes we don't do a great job in delineating between ex-Mormon and anti-Mormon. Ex-Mormons okay. are not necessarily anti-Mormons. When we say That's anti-Mormons, we're, bringing, we're talking about a very specific subset of people, and it can yeah, but often we, be we, interpreted. I, we just did a 30 second, a, a minute and 30 long, second long description on what that means and how the word has been stolen. And I always say ex-Mormon and anti-Mormons. Yeah, but or not, else I say ex-Mo subreddit, because the Reddit <laughs> is anti-Mormon. Right, right. But I think it can be confusing, because it can sound like we're doing it all together. Uh, I this agree. is a good point. I agree. This is a good point. Some people, some people leave... Some people leave the church, and that is, and we're sad to see anybody go. Some people leave the church, and they can't leave it alone, and they devote all their time and energy to haranguing our youth. Okay, that we have perfect right to criticize and call out on this channel because it's a cowardly thing to do, and they're boring too, and they're ugly. Yeah. Also, okay, mostly ugly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making an official standard. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if we can catch on. When you leave the church. You get one grace year to say mean stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. You get one. You get one grace year, okay? From the day and time you resign to the day next year. You get Poor one year. Sandra Tanner. After that. She's on, what, her 95th grace exactly. year? <laughs> no, because here's the thing. You need the grace year because it keeps you accountable, too. So, you know, do whatever you want. You could say, say, do your little podcast and everything, but you're not an anti-Mormon until year two starts. And ah, I think that's okay. fair because uh, you know they want to get out of the system. They've got, uh, you, but if we if we say, look, look, you're an anti Mormon now because it's become your whole personality. You know, I saw a meme for this. I saw a meme for this, Jonah. I saw this meme. I just pulled it up on Dick's Discord. Uh, Quaku, is is this is this what you're trying to say, my man? Is that we need to be uh, a little bit more considerate of the Exmo Corporation, the Exmo Valdez Corporation, uh, Corporation, right here. <laughs> The gas that leaves but won't leave you alone. Don't you dare doubt our doubts. <laughs> that is funny. Who made that one, Jonah? That's I, funny. It's from, it's from the Discord, man. It's the genius of the chaos of well, the Ward Radio worship. And, 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 and also, I do think there's something to identifying yourself as an X thing as opposed to what you currently are. Yep. So, That's um, the whole point. Yes, yep. but but even still, identifying yourself as an X thing doesn't necessarily make you an anti that thing. So, there there there, it's not all one group. So show me, show me the positive comment on Exmo subreddit about the church that doesn't get erased or downvoted. No, well, hey, that one positive comment about the church from the ex Mormon proves that guy's not an anti. The people around him might suck, 
But just because there's a Pomeranian okay, around a bunch me. of wolves doesn't mean the Pomeranian Show it to me. There. Just show it to me. I can't. I've been blocked yeah. from it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, like we said at the hey, beginning but, uh, of this podcast. Chris Hanna, though, right? Chris Hanna, ex-Mormon, not an anti. No, but he doesn't identify as ex-Mormon because he specifically understood that the term ex has been corrupted. Do you get what I'm saying? Hmm. And, and, and he understands that's become the rally cry of anti Mormonism, and he's not anti do you get what i'm saying oh like, so you mean like people call themselves post-mormon yes so that, is post-mormon no, that's better a, than ex-mormon that's a different to me that's a worse. different vibe people who say post-mormon are the one i don't know i trust that less that has a more positive spin though no but it's always ex-Mormon. meaner it's like i'm post-Mormon. no you've heard corbin blue you heard corbin blues talk about how he graduated from the church i'm a post or when I've graduated from this believing in God stuff, and well, now I believe true. in God. Right, right now, what we're trying that to do is more enlightened. I mean, that's just a fact. Well, but also, uh, to a certain extent, look, I'm probably <laughs> wrong in some of my approach to this, and I do need to chill out sometimes. I accept that, okay? But at the same time, all of us know what we're talking about. Just like uh, Clarence Thomas, you know, he was asked to define what the big P word was, and he said, you know, that there's no real exact definition that fits, okay? But he says, I know it when I see it. Okay, we all know what anti-Mormonism is when we see it. When I was growing up, generally, if you said somebody's anti-Mormon, it was usually an interdenominational spat. It was usually some Midwestern evangelical that knew nothing about the reality of what the Mormon church was. He was just repeating recycled lies that had come from his divinity school or had come from some DVD he bought or had come from the deluge of copium that existed uh, throughout all of the uh, literature, Christian literature of North America in the late 1800s to cope with the fact that people were getting baptized and leaving other faiths in just massive numbers and coming to ours. And, and, and so a lot of anti-Mormon tropes were developed in that time period, as well as sensationalist articles written by Nor'eastern newspapers that knew nothing about that crazy tribe living in the West with all damn wives, you know, the twin relics of barbar- barbarism and so on and so forth. I mean, these people were so misinformed by sensationalist media that we have presidents of the United States of America sending entire armies to go to war with people who weren't fighting with them. Like, go look up Buchanan's blunder, okay? Buchanan's blunder is literally his mistaken attempt at sending the U.S. Army to quash a rebellion the anti-Mormons had lied about. They'd set up so many straw men that it snowballed out of so much control that you had a president of the United States of America sending federal troops to fight with people that weren't there to fight with them. It was the most pathetic thing that finally once the newspapers figured out what was going on, they coined it Buchanan's blunder. So yes, that is anti-Mormonism. And it exists nowadays under... This, with the same ethos and the same rhetoric and the same tactics, you know what I'm saying, as it did in the 1840s, now in the 2030s and upcoming 40s. So, okay. So we're gonna give we're gonna give the former Mississippi bishop 51 weeks of grace. Let's hear what he has to say here in week 51, counting down. Okay. So yeah, let's hear what he has to say out of his own mouth. Remember, we're only quoting these people with words they say themselves, and we choose to believe them when they say it. So here's let's see what he has to say. Uh, We have been sitting here as a family trying to figure out what we are going to do tomorrow. I am supposed to be released, a new bishop is supposed to be called, and he's a dear friend of mine that I love. And I pray that he does a wonderful job. I pray that he doesn't do what so many have done. Well, just wait until the people ask you why you haven't deconstructed your faith yet, and that prayer will have to come to a real quick end, or else they're going to kick you out of the subreddit, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. They're going to kick wait, but, you out of the uh, subreddit if you keep praying like that. What does he mean? I pray that he, he, he doesn't do what so many others have done. Well, this very is like, cryptic. Very cryptic. Yeah, this it's is the, the third vagaries. cryptic thing he said. And, and maybe, by the way, maybe he's got a long plan here. Maybe he's going to unveil what he means by these things. He's dropping Easter eggs. You know, he's doing kind of like a you know, greatest showman kind of thing. Yeah. Which... From a media perspective, I respect. All right, I respect. Word. I respect the the hustle. Word. But I, like at some point, both me and the ex Mormons are kind of like, dude, <laughs> give us the meat. Like both everyone, ex Mormons and uh, we're all kind of together here asking, 
What happened? What did they ask you to do? Well, let's see what the meat, the meat is. Let's see what the meat is. It's let's not see gonna if it's come. It's going to be mu- it's going to be mushroom meat. It's let, not going to be steak. Let's see <laughs> if it let's see are you suggesting that beyond burger is not real meat? Plant-based. Yes. Okay, okay, hold on. That is an unapproved narrative. Oh, boy. oh my no, gosh. I got to tell you. Go. Bill Gates has told me it's meat. And he also told me that thing was a vaccine. So, yes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Settled. Settled. Oh, by the way, Oh, what's this poor bishop going to do when he realizes he has to mask up to stay in the club? Oh, guys that usually wear Carhartt beanies are not into the mask. I don't know. That's like going to be Carhartt. tough. I know. I do, too. I've got Carhartt shirts as well. And all my buddies that wear them did not want to mask up and were not pro lockdown. Mm. I got man. Rough. Rough times are ahead. Rough times are ahead. So let's see what he's got to say. Let him continue. Go. Um, so I just want to share something with you. This is my messy house. This is my beautiful wife, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And my kids with our messy table. <laughs> Look at my kitchen. It's just filthy right now. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, it, in all honesty, it's... Looking, no, I didn't look that yeah, messy. Yeah, I was like, that was actually uh, not so bad. Are we doing bags, Carter? Like, I was like, say, either I am incredibly filthy or LT is just exercising <laughs> a little bit of false humility right now because, uh, you yeah, know, that's actually my kitchen, I would say, on a good day. Oh, I'm a terrific housewife. Don't you dare put me under the bus. Uh, no, that's when you're gone, babe. Oh. You can't right. be at home all right. the time. Yes. Was that a pretty solid save or that what? Was. That was. I think that's a nice save. house too. That was a plus. Ooh. Yeah, pretty baller. Pretty baller. I'm not going to read that text message yet. I have to. I have to see if what they said is true. I read that text message that supposedly came from the person in his yeah. ward, and I'm going to verify that before I put that online. Um, Blast it online. You always yeah. need two sources. And I do take, I'm fine with opinion journalism, but before I say that so-and-so did X, Y, or Z thing, I'm going to have to talk to somebody that's got proof of that. If so, that's a bombshell. But uh, yeah, we ain't putting that out yet. We're going to let this guy speak for himself. Go. We, the the pantry is kind of clean because I got mad earlier today and did it. When I get mad, the house gets clean. But Dreamboat husband. Dream boat. Also, this is kind of awkward for me. Like, I don't know if we've ever done a video like us around the table and like we're showing our kitchen. Uh, like, we what's, could. He, what's he getting to? We could. We'll, I don't know. Keep we're watching. Gonna see. Keep we're going to see. We're going to see what he's got to say. Go. But we have set, had such a hard day today trying to decide whether or not we wanted to go tomorrow to church or stay home. And a good friend of mine said, man, do what feels right. So we decided we're not going to go. My wife said, you were released last week. They didn't get to do that to you. You got to release yourself. That's what she said. It's true. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) Why would you be saying all this in front of your kids? uh, What'd you say? Why would you be saying all this in front of your kids? This just seems like a very awkward conversation to have with your whole family and then film it and then post it. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that agree with you, and uh, some people are uh, questioning the. Some people say it might be copium, whatever. We're just we're just letting people see what it is, so they're in the know on the well, argument, I'm just letting confused people decide. And I want answers. Yeah, a lot of people are confused because there's been a lot of vagaries, but we'll let them finish, see what he has to say, and then we'll analyze afterwards. We are going to go. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We said it earlier. <laughs> we're going to go eat out. <laughs> we're going to break. We're going to break it. By eating out. That's what Charlie wants. Luke, what do you want? <laughs> what? I'm game for whatever. He wants to go play video games. Let's play video games. Al? Yeah, She's going bowling. So we're going to eat out. We're going to go bowl. And we're going to play Mario Kart. We're going to play Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, Both but anything? you know what? You know what? Know. If yeah. all ex-Mormon families were like this, ah, it's, a, it's, it's true. Kinda, he looks like a good dad. His kids look it's like true. they're happy. You know? There's there's a lot worse. Some of these people are curmudgeons. Besides the video game thing, because I'm anti video games in, in general, and I don't think anyone should play video games, <laughs> um, and especially not young men. After the age of fifteen, you need to throw away your video game or sell it because go go. Yeah, we things. know why the anti Mormons are clamoring and loving this though, because you have an ex bishop bragging about breaking the Sabbath, which is one of the you know traditional. But also, like by going out to eat and playing Mario Kart, like man, I'm super sinful. Like, if that's what they're creating, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. man. I was, was, about, like, I was <laughs> going to say, how Mormon are you if your bragging rights are, like, playing <gasps> Mario Kart on oh, Sunday? Oh, oh, I see what he's doing. 
Oh no, guys, we've we've misjudged this. He's what? he's smart. Oh, yeah. This guy, this guy, of course, it's gonna be a, a Carhartt jacked, good looking business dude who gets this, because he's probably isn't checking out ex Mormon media and subreddit, and he he's sees filling that it's a niche. All the same, and he's like, "What if we're the family There's blogger a Xmos, no. the cute family that are ex Mormons?" He's the Ryan Toys reviews of ex Mormonism. People will or, will flock to that. <laughs> people would flock if he goes that way he's gonna make moolah and it's a it's a smart move because we don't need another you know like, like, like. there's enough angry fat middle-aged ones there's enough angry uh, fat uh you know uh before and after art school meme chicks you know what i'm saying and there's enough like, crazy cat ladies and then that are nemo drunk you know i mean he's british which is the worst thing about him so i, I you know <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so it's brutal. like you know i just i feel like he's doing a thing it's a smart move from a marketing perspective. It's a smart move. His wife is pretty. His kids are cute. He's got a nice house. You know, I I, I can see what he's good, kind of like the Carl Shea before he, you know, when Carl Shea was like the Shea Tards. That fan okay. were huge before he started diddling the, 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 the OnlyFans girl or whatever. Okay. It, you know. So are you saying that you're prepared to be the Mississippi <laughs> ex-Mormon Bishop's agent? Are you looking to maybe perhaps start a professional relationship with this man? Carden, do you remember, remember and, we talked about yesterday? When I said, I said the biggest issue the Republicans could face uh -huh. if Trump gets the nomination is if yeah, well. somehow Gavin Newsom gets it because Gavin Newsom is an alpha male, but he's far left. But he's liberal. He's, the ladies want to like him, and, yeah. and, and you don't usually get alpha male li like leftist. So women already attracted to him, and he's a leftist. They're gonna love that. What we have right here is an alpha Chad Exmo, and there's ah. not a lot of alpha Chad Exmos doing. Media content. So is your first suggestion now as this man's, you know, we're, we're, we're no longer going to be analyzing him, but we're going to be assisting him and giving him some professional recommendations for his super, uh, his, his forthcoming online personality as the Gavin Newsom slash Travis Kelsey mm -hmm. of uh, ex-Mormon, anti-Mormonism. Is that what you're suggesting? Well, think of all the, the anti-Mormon, and I'm not even saying he's an anti-Mormon, but let's just say, let's say people who are ex-Mormons online. Okay? Bro, he in the three video, every, okay. You get a year. Three you for get a year. three. <laughs> three I said for, you get a year. Three, okay. But I think three a year is a really for three. long time. Six months. Three for three videos. He's called this brainwashed, immoral, I'm giving him a bad year. How does that not qualify? I'm, as I'm giving him a year. That is the new standard I have set. I he won't said the call standard. you an anti. It still does. No, just giving him a year to give him grace as a human being, I think, is very valuable. I think we're commanded to. Yeah, his but friendship. like you've been fired we, from a job. I, I, the week after you get fired, you're like, yeah, and the boss sucked. <laughs> the pizza was never good. You know what I mean? Like you gotta. <laughs> it doesn't mean that he's not an anti. Bro, he's been an ex Mormon for a week. He gets at least a couple weeks to bash us. I think that's. Fair. I'm not okay, saying he can't bash us. A couple weeks is different than a year. I'm okay. a free speech purist. He can bash us all day long, but I don't have to fake that he's not an anti. Mormon. I, know. I said I'm not calling him an anti. You can call him that. You already have. He's self-identifying. Okay. I, hey, boys. Well, no, no. If he's you not go on the Daily Stormer, you're a neo-Nazi. He's not. If you're saying how bad those people over there are that Mustache Man tried to kill on a website that's uh, called okay, Dare okay. Stormer, are you an? I think it's going. <laughs> are you an anti? Are you an anti-Jehovah's <laughs> Witness? Okay, okay, okay. You have okay. said Jehovah's Witnesses. You you have come out. You've talked about their I have respect for people practices. that have sincerely held religious beliefs and that worship something outside of themselves. Okay. Whether it is Scientologists or or J Dubs or whatever. Yes, I have theological issues with Cardi, some of the things. Cardi, you are so triggered by anti ex -mo oh, anti Mormons and no, ex Mormons. No, I'm saying I'm triggered we, by people that say the that point of the, the conversation was going here. And right when you heard the anti thing, you could, these people are right now. You live in their their mind. They're living in your mind rent free. No, you're, you're, you're trying to say triggered. no. I'm fighting with you, not with them, bro. Because you're saying hey, that what? for six months words don't matter. No, 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 you no, can no, still no, no, be no, an anti Mormon. I'm like, saying they get six months to say what they want. Before I call them, I Mormon. think they could say whatever they want for sixty years. Uh, yeah, this is America. Yeah, I, yeah, they're not mute. I'm not saying they're Helen Keller. No, Pardon. what I'm I, saying I, is I love that free speech. I, they I, can I, say whatever they want. I will not call them an anti for a year, six months to a year. Hey, That's what I'm saying. Jonah, can I can I offer a different perspective yes, on yes, this here, yes. please? So, loving and respecting and glorifying the Sabbath has been a massive blessing in my life. 
Just want to say that to everybody. Exalted when when Russell M. Nelson gave his talk about making the Sabbath different, that was one of the most pivotal talks in my life. I love honoring the Sabbath. However, okay, so we were derailed, but the point is, I'm saying. No. If he becomes the alpha male, well, let Chad. him finish. Let him finish. Let no, Jonah he just said, finish. What I'm saying is that this. So oh, I've done. I've never been a bishop. Thank heaven above. I've never been a bishop. I've been close to some bishops, and being a bishop is a grind. It is a grind on your soul. Actually, I'm amazed at how many bishops comment on our videos. By the way, in reaction to this yeah, video, there's lots been like of guys, fifty bishops comment. Yeah, tons of them said, "Oh, I'm a bishop, or I was a bishop." I don't know who you bishops think you are watching more radio, but you need to talk to your stake president about that. Yeah, but um, <laughs> this dude was a bishop, and a bishop is grind, and he's here looking at his family, and he's exhausted, and he's been through something, and I don't know what it is, but I think he could have some issues going on, and he's looking at his sweet darling children, and he says, "Let's go out as a family." And, you know, party as a family. I think it's misplaced because he... You want to take a vacation? It's fine with me. He's just pointing them towards, you know, eat, drink, and be merry. But, but, he is trying to be a good dad, and his wife's trying to be a good supportive wife. Let's at least give him that much credit until we hear if anything else comes out. How I, However, he is posting this with the hashtag ExMormon Sunday Fun Day, hashtag ExMo on Exmo Reddit, and he's soaking up all the fame. There is a huge carrot out there for people who leave the church. You can get instant internet fame. You can get 30 pieces of reputation silver if you leave our church and bash it online. There's a huge pot of of silver waiting for you guys uh, but, to do that, and and yeah. he could be, could be gunning for that pot. But I'm saying, though, he's doing a new style. Yeah, I think doing, you're right. I think he's doing, and we don't have alpha male ex Mormon media people. I mean, you get Dan Reynolds, Imagine Dragons, well, it's because but not the culture the, the, doesn't breed it. The reason why Gavin Newsom is such a rarity is because yeah. generally liberal yeah. men are betas. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, no, I would say leftist. <laughs> okay, leftist. Liber- I mean, those, You're right. those, I'm a liberal man. Those, those and iron belt the guys in the, in the Wisconsin, they're, they're stacking hay and they can like break your face with it, and they're they're all union dudes, right? So not I'm anymore. Just saying, yeah, not anymore. Like you know th- those Rust Belt guys. But if he's doing what I think he's doing. What that should do, actually, as 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 a marketing media guy, the L- other Exmo podcasters should be a little afraid of him. Yeah, because let me tell you something: he's going to take have, their game. If women have to choose between watching Tanner Gilliland and Travis Kelsey, oh gosh, oh, Travis Kelsey, oh boy, even John Delin, John Delin, or a Travis Kelsey, this kind of good-looking guy, they're going to go toward. I'm telling you, we've seen this happen before. We've seen this happen before. Cara Burrell's husband. Be, be 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 beware! He can come steal your girl. He really yeah, could. If, <laughs> if, 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 <laughs> if Mississippi saying, Bishop, this is interesting stuff to realize. I, I'm I'm very interested in looking at the, how this molds, but I think he could be the guy. You are a cold, heartless, calculating marketer, there, Quaku. Yeah. But if so, the, are you prepared okay. to say you think the biggest uh, of the ex Mormon podcasters can be this guy? The Travis Kelsey of uh, ex Mormon anti Mormonism within what six weeks does he need to give you a call? Did it would you young and dumb want to sponsor a up and coming next Tyler? Who'd you say? Ne- you know? No, 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 no. But I, I'm just saying, and could, he's going to have some battles to face because he's not super left. But he could Ooh. galvanize the the, the ex Mormons who were not super left, and and the people who are not. LDS, but are interested in watching like cool family cute content stuff. Ah. And if he doubles down on that, he has an interesting platform, and he could do damage for his side way more because it's not a podcast. It's a god good looking guy, good looking wife, and cute kids in a nice house in the south. They're gonna go have some sweet tea, have some barbecue. Ex Mormon dad teaches you how to we how could to do divide barbecue. and conquer the that subreddit. Dude's get so many views. We like, could divide and conquer the subreddit when all of a sudden the Exmo anti Mormons have somebody amongst them voting for Trump. This is it's over. Okay, are we it's done over. trying to market for this guy, giving him ideas? Can we read the super chats? Yes, let's read oh, the yeah. super chats. Okay. Keepers of the chats. Let's go. Okay. Um Darren Labrum. Okay. Laburn. What is it? Labrum. Labrum. Okay, he says, Congrats to all my Trump supporters who were very concerned about Epstein for years, only to find out their master Trump was an all star in the recent court doc, specifically identifying Trump in disturbing detail. Well done. Yeah, Tim oh boy. Moving on. All those guys okay. already debunked all that fever dream. I mean, it was dream. a 50 buck super chat, so. Hey, well, thanks, thanks. for the $50 fever dream super chat. Um, PC says, Big X equals John D. 
Okay, referring to his previous super chat. He was talking about John oh, Delenn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. He, uh, John Delenn, he's got the aw shucks, affable stake president look that's very approachable in the Mormon community. You know what I'm saying? And he maintained that instead of um, going off the rails. One of my cousins uh, was a very successful criminal shall I say, for a while. And the fact that he never got loaded up with tattoos and never picked up any of those habits of smoking or any of those other kind of uh, signals that were put out there and kind of kept the uh, aw shucks kind of affable local suburban guy uh, made it so he was able to get away with some stunts that other people just couldn't because of the optics. So as Kwaku L says here, optics really matter. And Kwaku thinks that this dude's optics as the uh, affable, loving, kind of cool, conservative uh, YouTube dad could be in his favor if he wanted to not gun for the red chair, but gun for the uh, the podcaster's chair. If he did know? a video not going to church on Sunday, instead I'm cooking a steak from a, from a deer or whatever I just shot, and it's got him like doing like the I'm a rugged dad thing, and I'm, I'm barbecuing for my kids. Oh, he, people will love him. Yeah. Okay, how did we get back on here? I'm reading Super Chats. You're right. Oh, Read sorry. the Super Chats, okay. babe. Quest says, has Saints Unscripted gone progmo? I feel like David Snell is the only guy keeping that channel grounded in actual oh, doctrine boy. and church history. Ooh. Well, Quaku doesn't have an opinion about that. I'll take that because <laughs> I know the most about Saints Unscripted. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got our uh, Steven Diamond says, I can't super chat often anymore. Need college money. Hey, well, that's fine. Save your cash for college. We're, we're yeah. glad whenever, whenever you can super chat. And uh, uh, Steven Diamond, just boom. Just get done with I'll college do as soon you, as you Steven. can. I'll do it for you, Steven. Temple Rocks. Boom shakalaka. Okay. Um. Oh, Jonah, do you want to welcome someone? Oh no. Ravens oh. of Brook Cherith. Oh my goodness, Sister Ravens of Brook Cher- Cherith has. Uh, please stand, if you would. Yep. Yep. Stand up. Thank you. Please remain <laughs> standing until your name is called. Sister Ravens of Brook Cherith, uh, we have received uh, her records, and all those who would like to welcome Sister Ravens into the ward, please do so by putting a W in the chat. All right, we got to put a W in the chat here. W for Ravens. For the Ravens. Bum, 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 bum. So look, look, look. If the if that if the Mississippi Bishop is watching this, we hope you're okay. We hope that your family. Uh, here, here's my suggestion to you: go to any church, find any church. Okay, you got to believe in something bigger than yourself. And if it's just deconstructionism, it leads to nihilism. Join anything. Even even, uh, you know, our evangelical brothers and sisters or become a Muslim. Heaven knows what, but believe in something, because if you're only going to believe in yourself, those children need something to believe in. They need faith. They need a community. And your online friends on Exmo subreddit are not going to send you Christmas cards. They are it, not going to be there for like your children does, or your wife. I mean, he does sound like he still believes in God. He, he is saying Good. Christ and he is saying my prayer. So I think he does still you know, we're going to have to figure out, you know, and, and also, dude, let's get him on the show. He let's also just, could just be like invited. expressing himself for a week and then he's going to peace out and not actually be a part of this whole thing. So we, yeah. we really have no clue. Okay. Or they just kick him out. We're veering left and I'm still super chatting. Yes, go. Okay. Uh, Daisy D.A. says, my sister is anti-Mormon. She is a right wing Trump supporter. She actively fights against the church. I'm sorry. Interesting. I, that, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like it's people, rare. Yeah, sometimes people punch themselves on accident. Oh know? no. Yeah, no. She <laughs> she's right because there is that that kind of like the 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 super anti vaccine anti Russell M Nelson movement in the church, which yeah. are mm-hmm. all mostly right wing. Yeah. But he. I don't know. I don't. So. Yeah. Interesting. And 2024 is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So keep going, um, Brittany. Chase keep her Johnson says, "I don't go for vegan food either." But in the millennium, we won't eat meat. So I hope the vegans refine their recipes to prep for that. <laughs> Why won't we eat meat? Oh, because the lion will lay with the lamb. And, you know, I guess if we're not slatter- slaughtering any lambs for that beautiful lamb chop. There ain't going to be no meat. We won't really need to eat at all, actually. Yeah, that's true. We'll still have blood, but we won't have to eat. Isn't that it? I can't remember what all those details are. You won't are. have blood. You'll have flesh and bone, not flesh and blood. Oh, yeah, you'll have flesh and so bone. So we won't not need to blood. eat at all. Uh, no, it's going to be the wildest intermittent fasting party we've ever had. Sweet. So, <laughs> you doctrine, know, people, that's doctrine. That's straight up doctrine right there. Okay, keep going, babe. Um, Darren Lebrum again says, Congrats to all my Trump degenders here who for years salivated about Epstein list, reminding everyone Epstein didn't. Repeat. You know, only, no, it's different. 
same same thought but different uh only to find out master trump is an all-star in the recent court doc dump in disturbing details shout out to all of you well Dude. thank you darren darren you know great shout out to you and uh, look great. any pro trumper that wants to dump 150 bones on my live stream can say whatever they want <laughs> An you know anti not a or anti-Trumper, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Look, yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, and I think January 6 was an insurrection, also. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, I, and I think um, Elvis shot Martin Luther King. Yeah, Elvis shot Martin Luther King. And oh, by the way, silence is 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 violence, and white people suck. There, you know what I'm saying? I love all that. If you give me another super chat, you know what I'm saying? I'll say whatever you want, brother. You know. Anyway, keep going. Uh, nope, I'm caught up now. So now you can um, fight amongst yourselves. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, so we do have more doing. memes to get to. If we finished with the ex yes. bishop, or, or do we want to continue the expo? No, we're gonna let him finish saying what he uh, is gonna say here, and then we be done with this. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Here's the newest clientele of Agent Quaku L, the Travis Kelsey of the ex Mormon subreddit. Mario Kart. <laughs> Oh, if anything? I don't know. All right. The boys don't know what they want, which is a problem when it comes to them getting a little older and liking girls. But this is us. And we are going to spend our first Sunday as a family having a freaking blast. Love y'all. All right. So that's the, uh, that's the end of the video right there. So cool. If you're gonna, if you're gonna break the Sabbath, you shouldn't break the Sabbath. But if you're gonna break the Sabbath, I guess that's how you do it. Go out with your family. All right, rock on, rock on. So, um, Quaku, uh, my only real question that I have right here is, what's your percentage? What's your take? Like, if you were gonna be this man's agent, would you be a ten percenter, a fifteen percenter? <laughs> is it like tithing? Is it on the net? Is it on the gross? You know, what would you? You've already given this guy some really great advice. Uh, what would your kickback be if you wanted to just enjoy a more professional relationship? Hmm. <clears throat> Here's what I would do. Take 20% of all the sales he's making while he's under, you know, uh, my, my, my new, uh, actually, ex-Mormon, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, agency. You're like the William Morris of... Of Exmo anti Mo. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm and it, Numo. You're yeah, the one I'm, I'm that birthed the Numo. Yeah. You yeah. birthed the Numo hashtag. Tell yeah. us about the message you got on that one too. Yeah, so so this new agency, it's ex Mormon and 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 New Mormon. Um and uh, the ex Mormon part, um it's it, 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 it it's 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 gonna be, you know, phenomenal. Um I got all the top guys. I got I got Samantha Shelley, I got uh uh uh, uh Maya Dillon, I got um uh, 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 Ethan Dodge, I got all of them. The up and comers. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, now, and and some of them are going to be singing. Some of them are going to be, uh, you know, do, doing like house tour stuff. Some of them are going to oh. be doing some uh, uh, things you you private. You know, you have private events. Show your, VIP. You have to show your uh, your ID to log in to be able to view it. Jeez. So there's a number of things. Um. So yeah, I mean, look, I'm the best in the business. You know what I mean? I'm the best yeah. in the business. And <laughs> if you if you if you hate the LDS Church, I know exactly how to market you. We'll make you some moolah. I'll make some moolah. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I mean, I, I, I it's, it's phenomenal. Once you said bada bing, bada boom, I was sold. I was sold. All right. Well, we got the last couple of these memes. These are actually pretty hilarious, man. Uh, I don't know where on earth these came from or where you found these, Jonah. But uh, Calvinist Klein, talk to me about Calvinist Klein. That is freaking hilarious. Is that a real shirt or is that just a really good Photoshop? Because I think I, I, see the, I see the wrinkles where it says, Calvinist Klein, this shirt chose me. Oh, 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 oh brutal. Pretty good. That is Hilarious. For those of you that aren't familiar with the beef that we've had recently with Jeff Durbin and some of our Calvinist buddies, Kwaku L, could you illuminate our audience as to why this is humorous? Oh, because Calvinism believes in predestination, that God actually chooses who is going to heaven or hell before they're even alive. Your salvation is not your choice. It's the choice of who God decided to allow to be chosen for salvation. So, 
Calvinist Klein is funny because it's like a Calvin Klein shirt, but it's Calvinist. The sh- you didn't choose the shirt. The shirt shows. I'm you. pretty sure that's a real shirt, too, because that looks far too good to be a Photoshop job. But who knows? Maybe it's a Photoshop job. Maybe somebody crushed it on fiber. Uh, fiber. I don't get this next one. I'll be honest with you. What animal is this? Is this is is that a, a skunk mixed with a taper? What, that's a, the honey badger or the honey bednar. Oh, I get oh. it. So it's David a yeah. honey badger. You don't mess with the honey badger. Oh, you don't okay. mess with the honey bednar. Okay, so that's now weak. I get, that weak. Was, that's a weak one. That's what we would say. Uh, a groaner foul. Uh, that's a groaner. Exactly. I was going to say, you know, mm. in improv comedy, we used to call that a groaner. Yeah, well, yours are, yeah, that's, that's true. It's not as good as all the we- memes that you brought to this meme review. That's a good point. Oh, savage. Are you, yeah. are you coming at me, Doc? You coming at me? That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, by the way, you'll never be criticized by people working harder than you. And I did not work as hard on you as collecting these uh, at collecting mm-hmm. these memes. So therefore, you are correct. Uh, what's this one here? Uh, Moses. <laughs> I like that Moses. One. Oh, you like this one, Brittany? Yeah, that's huh? funny. You like this one? Okay. If Moses had a smartphone, about to split this C, baby. <laughs> so you guys say like about to split this C. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You dig, huh? You dig. Why you like this one, Brittany? What's the? Uh, you gotta explain it. You gotta explain. If it. I explain it, then it's not funny. It's well, just else? funny. Oh, you know what? It's just like cool. Yeah. If you say you're cool, you're no longer cool. You just are. Exactly. All right. And then the last one, I do believe here, uh, Jonah, the um, mix master of all memes, the memologist, shall you will, the Ooh. ward radiologist for <laughs> cures. Stupid. All. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. This one's so stupid. Why, oh, oh the, the meme or the yes, memeologist the thing? the meme is so stupid. Okay. Well, which one? Funny. I laughed immediately when I looked at it. Okay, <laughs> Jesus sealing the deal for all hotels to have his book in the bedside drawer. <laughs> so dumb. It's dumb because it's funny. Because it's laughed. true. You <laughs> laughed. That was funny, dog. You laughed. All right, and then the next one is... Uh, the, the, ooh, whenever you see these kind of memes come out, it's usually uh, usually tough. Here, Mormons aren't anything like other Christians. Nordic man stares at him. Nordic man gets closer. Nordic man whispers, that's the way we like it. Awesome. I dig that one. And I got to tell you, it's kind of why I miss I miss the use of the word Mormon, to be honest with you. I try and, I try and be o- obedient to the prophetic revelation. And there's times where I think that, you know, once a decade, Every Mormon man has to do something rebellious against the social mor- norms of the church. And once every decade, every rebellious Mormon man has to do something obedient to prophetic wisdom. Uh, well, my once in a decade thing is just trying to eliminate as best I can the term Mormon from my vernacular. But I got to tell you, I miss it because, man, when I see like the Jeff Durbins and the Mike Wingers like making an entire podcast about why people should be Muslim and doing this tiss, tiss, tiss because you listen to rap and like this super judgy, mean, cruel thing that has kind of become post-war Christianity. I, ju- I just I, I don't like it. And I, I when I walk out the door and I say, like, I'm a proud Christian, I don't want people to think that I'm like making videos online telling people that they're wrong for believing in something outside of themselves and then rehearsing straw men and just being cruel and mean about it. You know, I, I don't know. I just I, I don't want people thinking I'm a judgy person. Like I can see why people get angry at Mormons um, thinking they're anti LGBTQ or thinking that they're kind of judgy or thinking that it could be a toxic culture or that religion is harmful because like we're a small subset. We're less than 1% of the population when 80% of the religious population is behaving like these people, you know, it, it's at least the ones on YouTube that we interact with. Yes, of course there's very kind evangelicals out there that put their religion in practice and are very kind, patient and long suffering people. And we're not, we're not, we're not speaking to them. But the vast majority of the self-identified, quote, Christians, at least that we meet here on YouTube and have I dealt with uh, on on uh, specific arguments uh, that should be going very well and be constructive and be theologically informed and so on and so forth. It's just it's just so toxic. I'm just like, I don't want to. I, I'd rather argue with an atheist. I would literally rather just argue with an atheist and have it be less toxic than arguing with you. So I miss. Yes, I'm like this Nordic guy that says that's the way we like it. I loved the term Mormon because most people knew that Mormons were like Christians, but they're like, oh, OK, but it's different. And so you could actually distinguish yourself from the Christians. That's why I liked the term Mormon was because it was not Christian. 
So um, anyway, yeah, that's how I felt. Any other memes? Are there any other memes that I missed? Or is this There's it? one more. It's the best one. Saved it for last. Oh, gosh. I have to go back into the Discord then. You know what? I'm going to say a super it. chat really fast. Oh, hit us Michael up with the super Nelson chat. Michael Nelson says, thank you for your videos. Your channel has helped to inspire me to create my own LDS-focused podcast. Thank you. Oh, oh cool. Oh, that's rock awesome. on. Rock on. That's awesome. Okay, so here's the last one right here. Before we got to go, this is the last of our meme reviews. All right. <laughs> Here is the guy at church in Galatia who was circumcised the day before Paul's letter arrived. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. That's oh, a bummer. that is too funny. That is hilarious. There was that guy. You know, there was that guy. Dude, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't circumcise my kids, man. That mm -hmm. dude, I saw that go down. I was like, heck no, I ain't doing that to the next one. <laughs> Have you guys seen <laughs> you know the movie? Like, There's a movie called Year One with Jack Black and Michael Sarah. It's one of the funniest movies ever. It's a little bit blasphemous, but it's about cavemen who and stumble into like the the biblical period. The timeline's totally off. Okay. And they, they end up stumbling into Abraham's camp. And Hank Azaria is playing Abraham. And he's like he's like, I'll be right back. We're going to uh, do something phenomenal for the Lord thy God has commanded it. It's like, okay, what is it? He goes, I'm going to cut off the tip of your penis. <laughs> He's like, what? He goes, it's the foreskin. He's like, no, it goes, well, just the tip, you see, not the whole thing. <laughs> and he leaves his back. He's like, I'm not going to cut off the full penis, just the very <laughs> top of Okay, well, I'm there's gonna get my here. There's and then Isaac <laughs> is like, they're, they're going to leave. Isaac's like, don't leave me here. <laughs> don't leave me here. And as they're running away, you hear, you hear that. And he goes, no. I scream in the distance, and it is one of the funniest <laughs> movies, dude. I often wonder that might uh, you know, I, it's a weird tradition. It's a weird tradition. Yeah, you know. Okay, so year one, you say? Oh, it's so funny. Year one. Okay, it's so it funny. All right, man. So uh, unfortunately, we're already in overtime here. We only got two more minutes left. If you guys have any super chats that want to be read, as long as it's Matthew appropriate. Matthew Murray and Darren Lebrum. Okay, they better get them out of their systems really fast because well, we're about to shut her down. Chat. No comments, just send a super chat. Oh, well, dude, thank you very much. That's awesome. If you guys want in the next 60 seconds to uh, state something uh, just in the chat, we'll try and read it. Um, before we go, though, uh, we just want to, you know, please remind you guys, make sure you like this stream. I see, uh, let me see how many people we got uh watching here hold on matthew murray he i just saw his comment he didn't know how to super chat but he wants to say that uh he said wait but i wanted to say that my problem with not using the word mormon is that it leaves members of the church without a single simple noun yes exactly yeah yeah, yeah. more men member of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints it, it, it's like holy smoke yeah. how true. are we ever gonna fight a war how are we gonna fight a war nobody says okay everybody stay in formation make sure they go to the left flank no, like that, that. That's not how we won, you know. So, um, okay, we fought the British though, who were shooting like. No, after they shoot, we will spawn, and then you will shoot us, and then we'll shoot you. We were like, why don't we just go and kill them? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, how we that, won. There, there, there was that cowboy mentality. Yeah. So, um, okay, awesome. Anyway, um, please, guys, make sure that you like this stream. If you haven't had a chance yet, please subscribe to our channel. We got some really cool things uh, coming up. Also, if you guys haven't had an opportunity yet, please make sure you check out our website, Ward Radio, okay, on wait, the top hold of the on, website. Hold on. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, Fidget what? the crazy Hold on, says. Did we ever look up her? Hold on, I gotta scroll. Uh, she said the funny comic I mentioned in my super chat. Did she put something in the Discord we're supposed to look at? Uh, you know what? We might have to get that one in the next meme review because we already went over Fidget the Crazy's pictures, but we can okay. get her in the next one. Ziploc95 also just gave us a super chat. Thank you very much, Ziploc95, that says this is a huge, there is a huge outdoor YouTuber who is a member, Outdoor Boys, who has become a viral sensation, inspiring young men everywhere, millions of subscribers, filming himself surviving camping in Alaska. That's awesome. That's we'll have cool. to check him out. And Brandon Nicole says, great show tonight. Thankful for y'all's channel. Yes, well, we're thankful for you guys because you guys, your super chats, your participa participation, your likes, your subscriptions, your joining the channel. This all makes it happen. As we speak about that, guys, okay, we're just going to put a shout out there. If you haven't, if you're watching this after the fact and you're not able to super chat during the show, please consider a contribution through Venmo. We're on the Cash App and on Venmo, both uh, and on Venmo, both under Ward Radio at Ward Radio on Venmo 
or Midnight Mormons. And uh, we're also at Ward Radio Show or dollar sign Wardy at Radio Show on the Cash App. You can also always give us a super thanks on any of our videos that show up in a premiere. We premiere one video a week about... And um, to the members of our channel, you'll notice that on most of our videos, there is a join button. If you have not had a chance yet to join the channel, please consider joining me, joining because members will oftentimes get early access to the early morning cup of Cardin. That's kind of our morning show that we have going on, as well as our evening releases, which oftentimes will get released up to a day early as members only content. There also will be a new members level. Uh, right now we're all hanging out at T Lestral, okay? But there's going to be a T Lestral level that's coming just for people that want early access to videos. All of our members get all kinds of cool emojis, emoticons, and highlights here in our live streams. But we're going to have a cool section that's going to be early access. That's coming in the next six to eight weeks. And so are the t-shirts. We just had our cup of carton yesterday in which we voted on the shirts. And guess which one they picked, Jonah? Guess which one was the most was the most popular? What was it? Was it Joseph Smith killing the vampires with the Sword of Laban? Uh, no, no. I mean, amongst the logos for oh, War Radio. Oh, sorry. Oh, the yeah. Boombox logo and actually Boombox? they didn't want a new logo. People wanted this one. So we might have to make mm. a t-shirt with uh, what was supposed to be our temporary logo for oh, our rebrand. This was actually supposed to be a temporary logo, but apparently people like it. They like the radio tower. So they want us to uh, keep that one and we might just have to do that. So make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. Okay. If you're able to join or contribute, please make sure you join and contribute. And uh, if you got this, if you got any other questions, please reach out on the website, which you guys can see at Ward radio.com and jonah one last thing before we go also is going to say we have some great content coming out of the future make sure that if you're not subscribed that you do subscribe and that you hit the notification bell we have don bradley coming back into the studio in the next upcoming days we're talking more about the apocrypha we've got some great stuff coming down the pike so we will see you we will see you with more word radio content in the coming days yes actually why don't you do our Outro, Kathy, Kathy Harbinger, great comment. You did our intro, Jonah. Why don't you do our outro? How's the outro going? Uh, thank you for joining us for this uh, live stream here on Ward Radio. For more content like this, please tune into Ward Radio. Or do it for this and <laughs> more. Like and subscribe. For this and more, join us at Ward Radio.